Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pawan Kumar, Consultant Surgical Gastroenterologist, SLJ Hospitals. Uh, today we will briefly discuss about uh, chronic pancreatitis. Chronic pancreatitis is nothing but it is a long-standing, long-term inflammation of the pancreas leading to the irreversible damage of the pancreatic parenchyma. So the most of the patients who are at risk of this disease are alcohol intake patients. Those who have habit of taking alcohol for a longer duration are uh, in the form of binge alcohol intake. And the patients who are, have, have uh, patients of acute pancreatitis as a sequel also can have a chance of developing chronic pancreatitis and it can present as a, a form of tropical chronic pancreatitis and sometimes uh, it can run in families because of hereditary issues like some genetic alterations in the form of genes like spink mutations, CFTR genes and PRSS1 genes. So once patients develop this chronic pancreatitis, the usual way of presentation will be pain in the upper abdomen, radiant to the back, sometimes which will be very severe, requiring multiple hospital admissions, nighttime emergency visits, loss of school, loss of college and loss of office time leading to the economical and financial burden to the patients. Apart from this, because of the irreversible damage to the pancreas which is happening can lead to exocrine insufficiency leading to the steatoria, we call it as foul smelling, bulky, frothy, sticky and oily stools and uh, other way of presentation is diabetes because of the damage to the endocrine function of the pancreas leading to the insulin secretions will be impaired. So apart from this usual presentation, patient can develop complications like jaundice and uh, water collection in the abdomen known as pancreatic ascites. If it is loculated only to one particular region, we call it as pseudocyst to the pancreas or in very minor patients, in, uh, in very uh, limited number of patients can develop pancreatic cancer also as a complication of chronic pancreatitis. Then how to diagnose this disease? The usual, uh, uh, we start with basic investigation like ultrasound abdomen which will pick up the pancreatic parenchymal size, any ductal irregularities, ductal calcifications, stones in the duct and dilatation of the ductal disorders. Once it is diagnosed, we subject the patient to further investigation in the form of CT abdomen and MRCP. Once the diagnosis is confirmed, then the treatment part comes. The usual management will be depend on the uh, whether the patient is having pain or not. If the patient is having no pain, then the patient will get only supplements with uh, pancreatic enzyme uh, replenishment along with the diabetic management. But when the patient has severe pain, the usual start of uh, management will be start with medications in the escalating step up approach. Once the patient is not responding, there are limited evidence and limited selected patients can have endoscopic approach also. But the main uh, integral part of the treatment will be surgical, which can be done laparoscopic or open method. Uh, we will call it as uh, longitudinal pancreatic or jejunostomy. Once the surgery is done, patient will have better relief of the pain. And we have seen some of the patients have developed, uh, they improved their exocrine and endocrine insufficiency also. So I request everyone to pay attention to the symptoms and if you feel anything is related to the pancreatic disorder, please feel free to contact us and do visit us to avail the best services available here in SLE hospital. I wish everyone to eat healthy and stay healthy. Thank you all.